strategy and how you are going to execute that strategic action plan and how what the outcomes of those uh, initiatives are and you would like to make some timely adjustment by monitoring the outcomes. A um, lot of times you would like to align these uh, strategies with your uh, overall business goals and you would like to monitor how you are performing. We all have a lot of processes and workflows in, within Maximo so you wouldn't, would like to see how well uh, they are performing or are there any bottlenecks in the process, how the, for example, how the life cycle of the work order goes, are there people taking a lot of time to approve it, you know, or there is a lot of uh, work orders that are not being closed or there is a lot of work orders that are not being addressed at all. So there is a lot of things that can be identified with the help of data analysis. From a performance management standpoint, you will know what are your leading indicators, what are lagging indicators, the things that you would like to focus on uh, and the actions that you would like to take so that uh, eventually you get a better reliability and better uh, control on your costs. Uh, in cases where you have multiple sites, multiple plants uh, or across departments, you could do benchmarking and more uh, more so importantly is to learn from other people that those best practices can be applied to some other uh, other uh, areas in the in the organization um, many a times uh, this the reports and KPIs and the targets this can be really used to drive people's behavior uh, drive their actions and um, help communicate what the overall business goals are and uh, of course uh, it's the same thing can be used to monitor the performance of the individuals provide them outliers alerts and give them enough input so that you, you see some actions that will lead to uh, right behavior uh, then at a high level you want uh, decisions to be made more on facts rather than just a sheer gut feeling or the judgment that people may have and uh, the quality of the decisions will be improved uh, and that's really how Maximo can help uh, maintenance and reliability professionals and overall at the end of the day we all want financial performance while balancing all the health and validation or other regulatory risks that you might have or safety health or environmental related risks uh, so net net you know assets are there for a purpose and we need to realize value out of these assets it could be in the form of throughput or productivity uh, financials uh, you want to do all the things in certain budgets uh, want to make sure uh, the uh, the quality of the output or the service of the output uh, service quality is uh, is at uh, as per the your internal customers expectations uh, and then we also want to make sure our systems and processes and uh, people are are empowered to make sure the organization's overall preparedness and maturity is improved. Uh, so these we have seen various companies go through various uh, maturity levels, and um, by and large, a uh, lot of times uh, people even people realize that these data can be used but uh, they fail to actually rely on it or they don't use data as much and the part of the reason is uh, there's a lack of knowledge on some of the cases how data can help uh, drive business in uh, some of these projects are driven by IT and IT have limited knowledge of maintenance reliability or for example RCM principles or TPM principles or any other initiative that you might have uh, some CMMS systems are not fully matured. Uh, it's uh, they don't collect uh, sometimes uh, right data, so the data quality is suspect uh, in terms of accuracy, consistency, completeness, integrity, all of that. And um, so the analysis that you do get out of that type of data is always suspect, and it's not as trustworthy. So many a times companies struggle with uh, this basic uh, challenge with poor quality giving poor uh, data analysis and hence uh, there is a less adoption of uh, uh, analytics in, in maintenance and reliability. 
for a large company, uh, sometimes there is no standard taxonomy. Uh, the measurements are not standardized, so that leads to uh, multiple assets with a similar name or uh, asset classes are not well defined, the hierarchies are not deep enough or sometimes the work is charged to a functional location, physical location, then sometimes to asset. So some of these discrepancies lead to uh, maybe it can lead to a bad decisions uh, that you make out of the reports that you might get. And then of course a uh, lot of times budget is a constraint. You may have some other projects in which you might allocate your budget rather than on analysis. Uh, leadership is also one of the big factor. If leadership insists that most of the decisions should be made based on uh, based on data analysis, uh, the adoption can be much faster and much wider within the organization. Uh, so before I go further, uh, Nilesh, I have uh, I have second question, please. Yeah. Uh, please rate the quality of your asset related data within Maximo in terms of accuracy, consistency and completeness. Please select one, very good, good, poor or very poor. All right. Uh, so Sunil, we have 43% uh, have good data, 29% have poor data, and 29% have very good data. Great. So majority of you believe you have uh, good data. So that that's a good starting point. Uh, uh, good data will lead into good, uh, you know, quality analysis. So obviously, uh, but as we move forward. Uh, and some companies, uh, you know, they are in the various stages of evolution. So, uh, but sometimes, you know, we we also it it will be worth your while to actually assess your quality of the data. So, whatever the quality that you might have, you know, the analysis quality will improve. So, this is just to show over a period of time you can mature and really drive your business of maintenance and reliability based on. Uh, data that is uh, uh, analytics driven maintenance and reliability and will give you a lot more uh, opportunities for improvement. So uh, just on the same thought here, uh, the type of analysis that you will do will also evolve uh, in the type of questions that you would be able to answer uh, as, as you evolve with your uh, analytics maturity. So in the beginning, you might be just doing standard reports, what happened, and ad hoc reporting on some of the investigative type of uh, reporting you might do. But as you go further, you will do this more predictive type of reporting where you can actually forecast certain events, forecast certain failures, uh, forecast certain uh, your spare parts, stock out uh, risks, you know, those types of things. And then eventually, you want some of this data to actually drive uh, some of the decisions as well, but uh, that that's that's part of the. So every organization is in various stage of the uh, of this maturity curve. Uh, same thing here, but uh, it's a little bit different uh, presentation here. As as you go along in this journey, uh, as you will start using more data analysis techniques, uh, you will start asking more questions, and hopefully, uh, you will get a lot more learnings out of uh, your practices and the data that you capture and hopefully you'll reach to a level where you can optimize your maintenance and reliability operations. So let's look at some of the problems that you can actually solve uh, in terms of uh, with the help of data analysis that you cannot do just directly in the Maximo transaction system. So if you really want to find out from a performance standpoint, give me all the assets or the bad actors which are underperforming assets. And you can do it with the help of whether you rank it based on the utilization, availability, reliability, cost, time to repair, or time between failure, however, whatever the parameters that you might do. Or you might do it on with the multiple parameters as well. Uh, if you make any strategic changes in your management uh, and uh, 
for reliability and maintenance and you want to see whether that's really driving the uh, the actual outcome uh, in this case let's say you want to reduce your mean time between failure and at the same time monitor the cost so if you make any strategic changes you can actually look at whether what how it is trending so that type of analysis only you know data analysis can actually help you understand whether the changes actually uh, that you are bringing about is really uh, getting you the output that you expect. Uh, sometimes you would like to uh, make a decisions on repair versus replace. How would you decide on at what point in time you would like to retire a particular asset or uh, 